I will never lose to a white boy in my life. Hi, this is King Butcher. Welcome to BDA Boxing, the boxing debate arena. I want to talk about Devin Haney and his comments. Listen, I'm not shocked Devin Haney is talking this way. He's young and I know it's not an excuse, but he is young and he's showing up on 78 Sports Channel, right? So he kind of like felt the need to impress uh, everybody there. So he started talking like that, right? That he would never lose to a white boy. Um, his father, at least, you can see in his reaction that he's not approving of this. And that's because he's old enough. Talking like that isn't going to help you at all. Uh, 78, on the other hand, 78 is probably the same age as Devin Haney's father. Yet he approves of this type of behavior, obviously. Not surprised there either. Here's the deal. Talking about, you know, slavery and making it racial, basically. That doesn't help your career. I mean, we saw it with Wilder. He didn't become more of a superstar or a superstar by talking about till this day and slavery and all that shit. And that's because the majority, the majority of the U.S. population, the demographics, it, most people are in the U.S. are Caucasian. So if you want to become a superstar, you got to get these people on board. And you're not going to get them on board by talking about slavery. Now some people are going to start saying, and I know I, I've heard the, some LDBC guys say this, and they're like, well, what's wrong with talking about slavery? Why, why is that going to prevent uh, white people from, uh, from liking Wilder? You know, what's wrong with talking about slavery? Here's the deal. See, who were... Uh, obviously, you're targeting white people by talking about slavery because white people were doing the slavery. They were the slavers, basically. So they owned the slaves... Although also black people owned uh, slaves in the United States, but less, I guess. But anyways, when you start talking about slavery, that's the thing. You're, you're, you're attacking white people in a way, right? So, so you're not going to get them on your side. Yeah. And I, I know some I can already hear some extremists. We don't need them. We don't need them. We don't need white people. Fine, fine. But I'm talking to, I'm to, uh, this message is going towards the more uh, open-minded LDBC members. You do need white people you do need mexicans latinos anyways guys don't forget that this saturday so today we have another show a live stream so make sure that you subscribe and that you check out our live stream we will be taking phone calls so it's gonna be a great show i'll see you all over there saturday april 19th saddle up for another wild episode as we open up the phone lines for another free-for-all calling show let's let's go again This is Solar Knight, the guy that's uh, in the chat. But we don't talk about these gloves, though. Nobody wants to talk about uh, these flapping gloves doing this abnormal behavior. Whether you want to talk about the current state of boxing, your favorite fighters, to give us your prediction for upcoming fights, or to fight with everybody on the panel. Uh, what am I talking what? to a barrel of monkeys over here? Don't you guys know anything about boxing? We'll open up the phone lines so that you can speak to the people and let them have it. I told you who the best heavyweights are, nigga. It's that Croatian nigga, that Fury, nigga. <laughs> and my so come on out on Saturday, April 19th. Both barrels, guns blazing. The Boxing Debate Arena. You never know who's going to call in next. <laughs>